A sunrise is one of nature's most beautiful displays. God created sunrises and sunsets by making the earth spin. In this video, we'll show you the science of how he did it on day one and continues to do it each and every day. As a sunrise marks the beginning of a new day, this video could be the beginning of a new understanding and relevance to God's first four words. This will be our science book. It all began in an instant when God said, Let there be light. This is the Genesis 1-3 project. If God were speaking scientifically, he would have said, let there be electromagnetism. However, no one would have understood. It wasn't until 1885 when Michael Faraday first discovered what light was. In the 173 years that have passed, science knew exactly what light was. As obvious as it is, science never made the connection as to how the Earth spins. It took the childlike faith of an 11-year-old student of mine to see how simple it was. I don't, don't believe in God, first of all, um, maybe because I grew up in like an age of science. Why should science and God be at odds? The word electromagnetism, or light, is formed by combining the two fundamental forces of electricity and magnetism. These two forces have gender or polarity and are inseparable. Electricity makes magnets and magnets make electricity. It really is that simple. Transmitting the colors of the rainbow, the sun is our solar system's most powerful radio station. These light waves are no different than the ones that are allowing you to watch this video on your smartphone. These waves of light pass through walls and can only be seen by a cell tower's antenna or its eyes. In addition to being our solar system's most powerful radio station, light is also the wireless extension cord that powers the universe. It's no coincidence that the Earth is mostly iron. Shown here on the periodic table of elements, iron is the most magnetic element in God's Lego set. With a north and a south pole, the Earth is a giant magnet. Magnetic fields, like God, cannot be seen with our eyes. However, by using a special liquid called ferrofluid, we can see the absolute beauty and symmetry of God's splendid design. Does this daisy not show the same beauty and symmetry? Everyone has seen God's electrical circuit connect in an awesome display of energy we call lightning. Lightning produces huge pulses of electricity and magnetic fields. Lightning strikes or pulses the earth 100 times every second. Let's pulse our electromagnet and see how a compass reacts. It spins. Imagine that. Let's go back to our science manual and, with our simple instrument, prove that Genesis 1-3 is not a poetic story. It is 100% pure science. It all began with a simple command by God. It's as though God flicked a switch. The scientific experiment that you are about to see will literally take you back to the very instant that time began. In our scientific recreation, the sphere magnet is the Earth. To the right is an electrical connection that creates a miniature lightning bolt at the equator. On a much bigger scale, we could say that lightning is God's finger making the connection. What makes Genesis 1-3 so scientifically important is that in the very same verse, God separated the light he created. It is so important to note that for centuries, science proposed a steady-state universe. Science said there was no beginning. Let's listen and see how the Bible got it right from the very start. Genesis chapter 1 In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, and God said, Let there be light. And there was light, and God saw the light that it was good. And God 
God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. God separating the light in the very same verse is what makes Genesis 1-3 so scientifically important. Now that you can see and understand how God did it, it's easy to understand that the earth is the world's first and simplest electric motor. It's so easy to understand. Will you help get the word out on social media by sharing this video with your friends, family, and church leadership? If you're in a position to make a small contribution, it's very important that you enter Professor Genesis in your search, or you'll never find our page. You can also make a secure tax-deductible donation on our website, tlcfun.com. That's TLC like tender loving care and the word fun like having a great time dot com. Why should our children not be afforded the chance to know our creator? Kits, plans, and assembled units make great science projects for kids, youth groups, and vacation Bible schools. Supplies are, however, limited. Please visit TLCFun.com to learn more about our efforts to improve education by asking God to return to our schools, becoming the guiding principle of morality and common sense. Technology Learning Center